obviously a uh, big day for you. Uh, you know, with this being your chance to kind of to show a little bit, how, how do you feel? It I feel I feel like it went good, man. I came out here with the with the mindset of just coming out and showing everybody that I'm still the same athlete I was before, and just showing that it, an ankle injury is an ankle injury, and that happens, but. I can bounce back every time. And I came out here today and I just wanted to show guys that I'm going to compete. I'm going to compete at the top level. I'm going to execute every time I get a chance to. And I feel like I did that. How bad was the ankle injury? Did, when it first happened, did you expect it to be out for as long as you were? No, I definitely didn't, man. I definitely didn't. And, you know, playing playing that Georgia week, that was that was my week. I couldn't miss that week. And I feel like, you know, I really kind of set myself back a little bit by doing that, coming back so fast. But, you know, it's just... That's just what I do, though. You know what I'm saying? I want to I wanna be able to give for my teammates, and that's what I did. And no one knows, you know, you can't plan how an injury is going to play out. But, I, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, looking back, I kind of appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? Because it just showed me the type of resiliency and, and the type of person I am and what I, what I can come to the table, bring to the table. What, what were the numbers that you got today uh, for your testing that you heard back? Um, I think I got a 38 and a half on the uh, – on the vert, 10 9 on the broad. I think I got a 4 5 6 on the 40. And I mean, that was the fastest 40 I've ever run in my life. So, you know, I, for it to come up today is. Even when you were training, you weren't running that yeah, fast? I definitely wasn't running that fast. How'd you, how'd you get up up there today? I mean, it just felt like game mode. You know, I came out here and just act like I was in the swamp. You know, just came out here to see all the coaches and see everybody else around. I got my family over here supporting me and everything like that. And just to come out here and just kind of mentally mimic that atmosphere, I was able to put myself in a zone that I just, I never, I've been in, I haven't been in in a while. Could you have tested this well at the combine, you think, or was it important for you to wait till today? I think it was important for me to wait till today, you know, because, I mean, I didn't have a lot of time to train. I only had like two and a half weeks total, but, you know, for me to have just gotten, you know, ready to run, I was just getting able to run at the combine. I, I don't think I would have done it that well. I think I would have done pretty good, but probably, probably not this well. Is that vertical what you did I say my ankle but it left? Did you have surgery? No. Is that vert about what you expected? Yeah. And a half? Yeah. I, I, I have been jumping that for a while. You know, I think that was that was probably one of the highest I jumped in the minute. Did they expect it? Because it looked like you jumped over the first yeah. setup. Yeah. Yeah. When they when they put it up, I kind of looked up there and I'm like, is he gonna move it up or? <laughs> so I just went for it. You know, I just I really just jumped in. I wanted to clear the whole thing, but it was. Yeah, I think it was good. Good thing did. you didn't tell him to move it up. You got the effect. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think that surprised a lot of people. Did you take stock of what everyone else did, the linebackers at the combine, their numbers and stuff? And um, you know that that definitely played a role in it. You know, I was able to set marks for myself and really, really push myself to to train and to compete. And then if I didn't get those times, you know, I had to go back and put some more work in. But I only had two and a half weeks, so I had to be really smart with myself so I didn't overwork my body. And I feel like I was in good shape coming out here and ready to work. And, you, know, I feel like I did a good you, you didn't compete at the combine, but reports coming out of it were that you raised your draft stock, but not even you didn't even work out. So that was just coming strictly from interviews. What did you do, or to, you feel like impress people that much? I mean, the biggest thing for me, man, I knew going into the combine, guys want to know what type of person I was off the field. They see the player I am on the field, and you know, guys, they, they a, lot, a lot of coaches and, and teams, they love it, you know, and they, that's what they've been telling me. And for me to go into the combine, the only mindset I had was just go in there and show them the young man that your mom and dad raised. And I went in there and I did exactly that. I didn't, I didn't try to hide anything. I didn't try to sugarcoat anything. I think that's where a lot of guys mess up. You know, they go in there and they try to, to put on something that they're not. They want to see exactly who you are so they know who they're going to pick. I mean, they're investing millions of dollars in us to play a ball game, you know. So I just want to go in and let them know this is exactly who you have. This is exactly who you're going to get every single day and nothing more. Jared, who, what do you think they see when they flip on the tape? Um, you know, I think they see a vicious, mean athlete. You know, somebody who plays with a different mentality each and every snap, and, and that's how it is. You know, every drill, every workout, every rep in the workout, I do. You know, I, I want to come with a different mentality. I want a different energy to to, to kind of that that I can give to everybody else that they can feed off of. You know, sure. and, and that, that's how I feel. From Kingsland to Gainesville to question mark. What, what's it like having that? that question mark ahead, not doing who's going to be the one that picks you. Yeah, man, it's definitely tough, man. It's, 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 it's a new experience, and it's something that's very exciting. You know, I never really would have thought that I would have been in this place, you know, at this point, you know, and I really can only attest that to my parents and to God. You know, they really, they really brought me up to be a great person and to be a hard worker, and, um, you know, I never leave anything for chance. And, you know, it's, I stayed home.
stay close to home from Kingsland to Gainesville, you know, only an hour and a half down the road. Then um, I went to Orlando to train, so I was still close. And now it's up in the air. So, you know, I'm really excited for this new chapter in my life. And um, I just hope that I can be a good example for everybody else around. Do you have any individual workout set up? Um, not, not currently. Okay. What, do, what are you hearing from teams? Um, you know, the, the biggest thing was just they want to know who I was and, and they want to know how I think in certain scenarios on the field, you know, and I have a couple of meetings set up where I have to go, you know, explain, you know, this is how I see things and I want to ask them questions about, you know, what they think I should look at and, you know, the things that they think that I should break down and everything like that when it comes to playing ball at, at the next level. How important is it to be a first round pick to you? Um, it's not important. It's not super important, but I definitely, it would definitely be a huge honor, you know, to be picked in that, in that top 32 because, you know, those are the elite guys, the guys that come out every day and show that they love this game and that they can play it at the top of the, at the top of the top. But, um, you know, just being picked in my mind would be an honor just because I just want to be able to continue to play this game. I love this game. It's, it's about the game to me. It's not really about what comes with it. Back on. Sorry.